In today's video, we will teach you how to build this mountain house. This mountain house has a full farm, storage area, a bedroom, enchantment area, a main crafting area, and plenty of lighting. This uniquely shaped layout adds some character to your world. Here's how you build it. Now let's start with an area for your home to go. Find a mountain similar to this one and just clear out a big area like I'm doing here, and then we can get started. I recommend clearing out about three to four blocks, but you can do more as you want to. Here's what mine looks like. Now start by building a similar layout to what I have. It's just a three by three kind of layout, and then you skip it and you just do it a second time and a third time, so that it looks something kind of like this. Now put some stairs on the outside as I do here. Now start to dig out your area on the inside. I would just recommend just digging out a massive area as you're going to need a lot of room for the space. Now make sure that you don't mess up like I did here and basically go out of the cave. So if you have some excess stone on you, make sure to just fill in these gaps. So then it looks something like that. Next, add some stone bricks. Just basically just make an outline of the existing spruce and that should work out pretty well for you. Now, put some windows down. You can put windows in on here and it kind of gives it more of a 3D look having it one block back. Now, start to build your doorway. I would recommend building it to look something like this as it looks very appealing on the outside. I just used a spruce door for it. Now let's go ahead and build six blocks in on, on each of the three layers. And then just go ahead and just clear out all of the existing stone in here. After that, just build a similar layout to what I have here. Make sure that you add up some stairs over here so that you can get up to each layer. I simply just made a simple design of just this. So you can do really whatever you want, but this way you can access all three layers and then just build in like I do here. Now, go ahead and match the layout for the spruce as we did with the main windows. This way we have a basically a duplicate of what we had on the outside, but on the inside. Now put some stone bricks right here. And then just fill in the rest of this and then put some stairs as you want. Next, fill in this whole area with spruce stairs and then it should look something like this. Now build three layers in with spruce planks. Just do this for all three layers. Now put a layer of spruce logs all along this. And then do this for the other two layers as well. Now add some light. To do this, get a redstone block, a lamp, and some glass, and simply just do this based off of the layout that I have it like here. So you're going to need a good amount of lamps, but it shouldn't be that hard to get them all. Now here's what it should look like. Now come down to the first layer and build an inward of 11 blocks. Do the same on the second layer but with 24 blocks, and do the same on the third layer with 11 blocks. On the second layer, make sure to just dig out everything, and then do a simple pattern of every three blocks, put down these spruce logs, and then do this for three layers. Now come back to the first layer and just do the same thing on here, but only do it for a total of three. On the first layer, go ahead and just dig out the ground and put in these stairs. It adds a nice little texture on the ground, and it makes it look a lot better too. Also start filling in the walls with spruce planks. After that, fill in the ceiling with stone bricks. 
and then we'll be done with the first layer for now. Now come up to the third layer and just do the same thing, just fill in the whole ceiling with stone bricks. Now make sure to get the same layout for as I have on the third layer. It's a bit of a trickier one to get, so make sure that you can try to get it as accurate as possible. Start to fill in the floor with spruce planks. I didn't really decide to put anything special on the floor, as it's just the main area where you're going to be sleeping, so there's really no point, but that's up to you. On these little indent areas, just put stairs like I do here. This is going to be mainly like viewing areas for your armor stands to go. And then do it over here on the opposite side as well. Now fill in the walls with spruce planks. Next, add some stairs on the top corners. Now, just fill in the rest of the ceiling with stone bricks. Now put down a bed in the middle, and put your armor stands on here. This is a nice little decoration thing, so if you don't want it, you don't have to put it. Up next, put down some lanterns, or any kind of lighting that you want to do in here. Now on each layer, put some stairs on the top corners, as I did there. Now over in the second layer, go ahead and come back, and after the third a little like pillar area, go ahead and add another one, one block away from the third one. Now just build in, in intervals of two for these spruce logs. Now after you're done, it should look something like this. Make sure to dig these areas out and then just put some spruce logs and then put some stairs facing upward like this. Now put down stone bricks as I do here. Now dig up two and just place some stone bricks up here. Now get some glowstone and get some spruce leaves and then just stack them on top of it to add for some nice hidden lighting. Now for the floor, just follow the same layout that I do and it should look pretty good. Now add a lantern right in here, and then that's where your enchantment table is going to go. Now put some barrels in the ground for some extra storage. And then go ahead and put some chests on here. But before you put the chest down, go ahead and put some redstone lamps underneath them to add for some hidden really nice lighting. After that, come down into the hallway and then put some stairs here and some planks right there. Now for the design in here, I just decided to do it like this, and then just put some stairs right here. It adds for a nice little layout, and it's a little bit better than just a plain wall, so it should look something like that. On the front of each entrance, put a similar design as I do here. I would recommend putting down some lanterns in the hallways to kind of keep it from being so dark. After you're done with the hallway, it should look something like that. Now for the enchantment room, all you gotta do is put down an enchanting table, and then just surround the whole thing with bookshelves. It's pretty simple to do. And for the final layer, let's go all the way down to the first layer, and let's build our farm. I recommend digging out a massive area. Now build a similar layout to what I have here with the spruce logs, and then just build up to kind of make it a cool kind of overhanging like design with the logs. That's what it should look like. Now fill in all the walls with spruce planks. And then for the ceiling, do stone bricks. Now put two water sources underneath each of the logs in the middle, and then fill the rest in with dirt or some grass blocks like I did here. For each of these openings on the walls, put some spruce stairs down except for the first one next to the entrance. And then don't forget to put the stairs at, the, at each corner on the top. On the first layer, put a compost bin and then three barrels. And then go ahead and put a crafting station there too. Now just get a hoe and just hoe this entire area, and then just fill it with some crops. 
If you want, put down some flower pots on these little things as just a nice little decoration block. And then don't forget to put two lanterns hanging from this top to be able to actually put, put the crops down. Now come back out to the first area and then just fill this whole area in as I do here with stone bricks. This is going to be the entire ceiling layout and it's pretty simple. Now go ahead and just fill in the walls with stone bricks like I do here. Leave a nice little opening right here for your furnaces to go. And then just do the same thing on this other wall. Now add some stone brick stairs to make it look like that. Now fill this whole area with furnaces and then fill the entire other area with some blast furnaces. Now put some crafting stations down as I did there and then put one in the bedroom too. And then don't forget to put one over here, right here where that burrow is, and then you can go put one in the farm too. For this first area, just do the similar layout as I do there. On the opposite side, do a layout like I did there. Now on the outside, do a layout so that you can have a nice little hanging lantern like that. And then just do two more of them right in the middle of each window. Now get a shovel and then just do a little pattern like this or you can just make a nice little walkway out front. But that's it for this video, we hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like if you're new, and hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.